All right, so I had uh, my dog, my one little dog, had to have 10 teeth pulled. Well, I originally took her in for a teeth cleaning, and at the time they pulled 10 teeth. So I feed this hard uh, food to my dogs. It's small breed, small breed blue buffalo. And so obviously uh, I had to break that up for a while until her gums healed. So in the past I've always used this mortar and pestle to put the food in, break it up, and then put it in a dish to feed her. Well, for either one of my dogs. And um, it works, but it's a little time consuming. And it really is something to break these up. It takes quite a bit to break these up. And this is what the dog in question, she gets this in the morning. And then at night, she gets half of this quantity for the full day. So this would be her morning helping. And so I did that for a few days. And I thought there's got to be an easier way than the time-consuming way of using the mortar and pestle because, like I said, it does take time. you got to put it in there a little at a time, break it up, put some more in there, and it's, it's not all that easy to do. So as I was thinking of another way to do it, I thought, well, hell, I've got this uh, magic bullet that I've had. And I thought, well, you know what, let me give this a try. So, take this off, that becomes the cup that I would use to put the uh, food in. I pour the food in there like that, put the bottom piece in with the blades. And I'm ready to go. So now here you see it in place, okay, I've got it set in place, and what I do is I'll push it down, and you'll see what happens here as it cuts it up. You can see how it's already starting to pulverize it, okay. And sometimes I'll tip it like this, let it fall into place a little at a time. Then I'll look at it, and I'll see that that is pretty good right there. Really not much more to, that I need to do. Okay, I would call that excellent right there. I see there is a couple pieces. I might put it back on. Something else I, all, I can also do is shake it back and forth. That'll help force it into the blade. And there, that's it. That looks good right there. Now what we have to do is empty this, okay, and I'll dump it in here like that, but then you see that we've got some stuff stuck in here. Now how do we get that out? Now I remembered that I have this, one of these already. It's uh, a brush, silicone glue brush, which, as the name implies, is used for spreading glue. And this is what it looks like. It's silicone. It's easy to clean. Now, this is a brand new one. I do have one that I use for glue, but this is a brand new one. They're like, uh, they're under $3.50. Uh, I've got these at Lowe's. And so what I do now, and this is easy to clean again, which is what I like. So I bought a brand new one. I didn't use one that was still used for my glue. I'm going to use this for this purpose. 
And then all I've got to do is brush it like this. And you get the majority of it. You're not going to get it all. Then you're going to wash the rest out. But you're going to get the majority of it. And then as we do the container here, it allows you to get back in here and get where those ridges are and get a whole lot of it out. And, you know, upon inspection, if you got a little bit more to take out, but so there you are. Then I just would wash that out. And here you see the dog in question eating it. 